ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I can speak in a normal voice now, not a commanding and loud voice. My name's Richard McCormack. I'm uh, happy to be here as your host and MC today. Um, at the, uh, Master of Ceremonies is, is actually what it says uh, on the slide. Um, and I'm happy to do that today here at NatF uh, 2015. We've done this event ooh, for at least the last five years, but I think up at the Computer History Museum. Seven years, I'm being told, by a professional mathematician down here at the front. We've been doing this event. But and at places like Computer History Museum, this is the first time we've done it here at the beautiful Levi Stadium. I'm sure you will all agree this is a big step up in terms of uh, venue. It's great fun. They are literally... Um, building an ice hockey rink out on the stage outside. I was not in the ground outside. I was not joking earlier. They're actually going to convert it to an official NHL game, I think, uh, coming up soon with the Kings and the Sharks. So that's kind of uh, interesting. But good morning. Welcome to the, uh, the, uh, the, the latest North American Technology Forum. Um, please, if any of you are missing something, have any difficulties, just go to some of the staff members. You'll see them all around with their little badges on, uh, look out for that. Look out for a gold ribbon. Those guys will happily take care of you. Um, I will also encourage you during today to please go visit the technology showcase. If you turn around 180 degrees and look past that black curtain behind me, that's where the technology showcase is going to be held. So please, in the breaks in your spare time, spend some time in going and looking at all the demonstrations that are there. You should all have received as you walked in, a nice information packet giving you all the information about what's going on. In that package is information about what the showcase events are going to be. If you can't understand what it says, go ask one of the showcase guys. They will happily tell you all about their demonstration area. No problem at all. Plenty of restrooms here at Levi Stadium, of course. You'll find them at both ends of the auditorium, so don't worry about that. You can even smoke here at Levi Stadium. I think in one small area hidden way over in the corner. <laughs> it's like half a mile walk to get there or something. I haven't even been to find out where it is, but somewhere near where you parked your car, they told me. Very conveniently located. <laughs> um, if there is an emergency during the event, enormously loud lights and bright sounds will come out, or even the other way around. Uh, perhaps loud noises and bright lights will flash, and then someone, not me, will come onto this microphone and tell you exactly where to go, which I assume is down those stairs just over there where we came up. Hopefully there will not be an emergency. You should also have in your packet a little survey. Should look something like this. We would really appreciate you spending just a few minutes to fill out the survey at some point during the day and handing it in to one of the organizers. That would be very, very convenient. Now, I didn't practice how to change the next slide, so I pointed randomly at a person at the back, and it worked. Excellent. Excellent. Twitter is live. You can tweet. NatF2015. You can even follow Fujitsu Labs if you want. Some of you may be saying, oh my goodness, how do I get online, Richard, here at Levi Stadium? What would I do? Have no fear. You merely turn on your phone or your computing device, and you look for Xfinity Wi-Fi. Is there a password, you might say? No. I even tried it this morning, turn it on, it just makes a connection. Very, very good. 59 megasecond download speed, 61 megasecond upload speed. So if you would like to take photos of the event, you can send them straight out to the blogosphere and let everyone know what's going on. All of the agenda and everything, of course, is available online, but I'm spending too long telling you what to do. I would like you all to grab those cellular devices I've just talked about, put them on stun or silent or off, or in any way you can to avoid uh, waking everyone up because I'd like to get the event underway. And I have great pleasure uh, in inviting onto the stage the very first speaker of, of today, uh, Sasso Sani Series, coming all the way uh, from Japan. Um, Fujitsu Labs, as you know, has been a key pillar for R&D here at Fujitsu Group. And Mr. Sasso is uh, president and representative director of Fujitsu Labs. He's held many senior executive positions within the company and was also responsible for the K computer, uh, just recently famous in the press. Please welcome onto the stage Sasso-san. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. 
I welcome you to this forum. I'm pleased for this opportunity to highlight our leading edge technology for you. Does it work? Well, really. well, here at Weber Stadium, we are excited to host this forum for the very first time, which is also where the start Super Bowl will be held next year, by the way. Through Fujitsu's business experience in the US, for nearly half century, Fujitsu has grown into a global ICT group. Hmm? Okay. It works. <laughs> As technology leader of Fujitsu Group, we have generated that innovations drive social and industry department development while leveraging our US-based R&D site located here in Silicon Valley. Fujitsu North America Technology Forum is a global gathering of leading edge technologies and diverse knowledgeable minds. This forum seemed human-centric innovation aimed at offering exploration for technology-driven new business opportunities and promotion, promoting in deep discussion on how technology can resolve various social issues in this new IoT era. First, I would like to share these key topics shown in this agenda. Uh, this is said to be Paul Gorgian's masterpiece. The painting's title is, Where Do We Come From? Who are we? Where are we going? It is said that this painting shows the entire course of a human life. Similar to this painting title, I'd like for us to consider where did ICT and Fujitsu come from? What is ICT? Who is Fujitsu? And where are ICT and Fujitsu going? Next, I will share an overview of Fujitsu. I would like to reflect on Fujitsu's history in this US and share some milestone with you. First, the computer business. It all began when Fujitsu opened its New York office in 1967. For mainframes, leveraging the transition to IBM compatible computers as an opportunity, Fujitsu collaborated with and invested in Amdal Corporation which led us to the state start of Fujitsu open system business. Next, the network business. Also in the 1980s, due to US national security issues, Fujitsu has to abandon its bid for AT&T North Corridor optical networks project. But uh, Fujitsu was able to demonstrate its high technical capability in that field at the time, which later paved the way for Fujitsu's success in its telecom equipment business in North America. By 2008, that business led to Fujitsu's flash wave networking platform capturing the top share in North America. As we can see, Fujitsu has repeatedly taken new challenges 
in the US market and continue to do so. Fujitsu's early experiences here fosters resiliency in Fujitsu and built a foundation for our subsequent growth thus far. Fujitsu provided a full portfolio of ICT related products from computer to infrastructure as well as services. With annual revenue of about 46 billion US dollars, it is these technology and services from the Fujitsu Group that are largely enabling the realization of our customers' innovation. This shown an overview of Fujitsu business by geographic region. Fujitsu has over 160,000 employees worldwide. Sales in Japan account for 6% of total sales. By strengthening our business outside of Japan, which is the aim to globally increase its sales outside of Japan. In IT service, in global market ranking for fiscal year 2013, Fujitsu ranked fourth in the world and first in Japan. This shows my categorization of Fujitsu ICT business portfolio. I will now uh, describe how some of Fujitsu's global subsidiaries based in North America and Europe fit into our overall portfolio aside from Fujitsu Group companies in other global regions. In North America, we focused on consulting IT platform operations, management services, PC and tablet, and telecommunication equipment. In Europe, we cover a broad range of business from consulting, operations management, systems integration, and solution to IT platforms and PC and tablet. Our ongoing initiative are to take Fujitsu's ICT portfolio and further expand our business worldwide. Next, uh, let us examine the domains covered by the major global ICT vendors outside of Japan. Uh, company A, I can say the name, uh, covered all enterprise area, but does not cover communication equipment or consumer devices. Uh, likewise, company B, uh, focused on system integration and IT infrastructure operation management. Similarly, company C offered consulting as its main business along with the system integration and solution and operations management. In contrast, Fujitsu portfolio covered all areas of ICT business and services. In this aspect, very few other global ICT vendors are able to match the comprehensive coverage that Fujitsu offers across all these domains on a global scale. We are also confident that our ability to integrate all of these capability is Fujitsu's core strengths. For the business and service domains, I will share some highlight of ICT evolution and Fujitsu strengths. Uh, I would like to briefly review the spiral evolution of ICT platforms. There have been tremendous advancement in technologies for computing networks and front-end devices. Now, interacting and giving rise to new services and new business opportunities. Uh, because of the proliferation of PCs, 
and includes in both speed and coverage of networks, internet service has expanded. Uh, as we know, a uh, multitude of businesses have been built on the internet infrastructure, including Amazon, uh, Google, uh, Facebook, and so on. Uh, the server has become commoditized and faster, and uh, the networks has continued to evolve because services have began to spread. ICT is now evolving into the era of uh, the Internet of Things, or IoT. Uh, looking back and reflecting in this way. I believe we can see that today's transformation of ICT was historically inevitability or natural evolution. Many are saying that the IoT era is arriving. Should we believe them? We at Fujitsu deem the IoT era as inevitable. Cloud computing technology continues to advance on a daily basis. To increase computing power that underpins the cloud, R&D focused on technology such as network function virtualization, wired or wireless connectivity, fast and lower power CPUs, hybrid networks, and high-speed communications. Uh, IPv6 standard enable an environment with no limits on the number of network connections. Based on these technological advances, we can say that the proliferation of M2M communications, the IoT era, is also inevitable. In about the past 20 years, the performance of Fujitsu's supercomputer has improved by roughly 100,000 100, times. Fujitsu's K supercomputer was ranked as the world's fastest supercomputer twice in a row in 2011 in the top 500 world ranking. Smart home performance has evolved remarkably, and we can now hold in one hand finger like this, computer. The performance of past supercomputer 20 years ago. Because Fujitsu developed and offered a full spectrum from a supercomputer to smart home, tablet, and on other smart devices, we have a true appreciation of the remarkable advancement in, co com in computing power over the past two decades. We are now seeing the rise of highly sophisticated IoT cloud computing systems to further grow and develop application for IoT cloud computing, R&D in front-end area will be an important business strategy. This is why the Fujitsu Group is driving human-centric innovation in this IoT area. Core technologies that will be necessary in the future are highlighted in this diagram. What is demanded for the IoT era is the use of the value chain of technologies. Uh, extending from front-end devices to back-end infrastructure. Based on that value chain, I believe that the generation of new services in a wide variety of application field is highly expected. Fujitsu's strength is 
integrating a wide range of diverse technologies and applying them to customer solution. Next, I will share an introduction of Fuji's laboratory group. By undertaking both fundamental research and applied research, Fuji's laboratory's role is to pioneer new market, create new business models, and drive the growth of the Fujitsu Group's business. Currently in Japan, the Fujitsu Laboratory Group has two sites, as well as global sites in the US, UK, and China. Our R&D budget is roughly 300 million US dollars. We have about 1,200 employees based in Japan and roughly 230 employees based outside Japan. Fujitsu Laboratory is driving leading edge technology in all areas of ICT. Here, milestone in innovation by Fujitsu Laboratory across the past decades. In 1968, Fujitsu Laboratories was established as an independent organization split off from Fujitsu Limited. In order to pursue R&D over medium to long-term horizon while being insulated from the business conditions of its parent company. In computer, in 1974, we jointly developed the world's first LSI chip-based computer with Amdal Corporation. In networks, in 1996, we achieved the world's first wavelength division, multiple skin transmission over, of over one terabit per second. In security, in 2003, the world's first palm vein authentication technology to securely, securely authenticate personal identify identity. Um, this shows an overview of change in drivers of technology and the application domain of ICT. In Mayhem era, the drivers in the effective usage of ICT were vendors such as Wii Fujitsu, IBM, and digital equipment. Uh, people have to accommodate themselves to computers. In the network-centric era, uh, with spread of PC and client servers, the scope of ICT application expanded. IT system department of co corporation drove the effective usage of ICT. Now, uh, with the spread of the internet as an infrastructure, the scope of effective ICT usage is expanding very rapidly. The driver of ICT, drivers of ICT have shifted to strategic planning department of cooperation, and ICT usage is advancing into domains for business expansion and value creation. In the IoT era, we must think about ICT from the perspective of the behavior and value of individuals. This is the reason behind which is the vision of human-centric innovation. I'd like to highlight some key domains that our leading edge R&D is focused on. This slide shows our R&D portfolio. ICT, trans 
ICT infrastructure and service domain for providing insight from big data, knowledge platform domain, human interfaces and devices domain, uh, materials and electronic devices domain. These four domains are fundamental to ICT. Social and business innovation will apply these four to new innovation domains for which ICT has not been leveraged yet. Finally, for all of these domains, we will pursue R&D to realize our dreams for the future. As an ICT business leader, we view it as a mission of Fujitsu Laboratory to drive the develop development of these type of new technologies. I will now explain each of these areas. In this domain, we focused on data center and server architecture, cloud network connectivity, and network service platforms. In this domain, uh, technology to ex extract meaning from data through data linkage, big data analytics, and high security data protection. We believe, we believe these fields are value generating engine for business. In this domain, uh, next generation user interfaces that enable data to be input and output. Wearable devices and interfaces, human sensing technologies that can combat human behavior and psychology into digital forms. By developing these types of highly realistic devices and sensors and incorporating them into cloud computing, we can seamlessly integrate the real world into the digital world in order to empower people. These are the front-end interface technologies essential for the IoT era. In this field, uh, next generation advanced devices, packaging for exascale computing, IoT sensor technologies to support ICT infrastructure. Within the Fujitsu group, we are developing key technologies that underpin ICT, providing sophisticated ways of using ICT to resolve critical social issues is an important social mission of us Fujitsu. For example, one such area is natural, natural disaster measures, tsunami simulation. Thank you to US people, heart warming support. We have been rapidly recovering those Tohoku areas. Anyway, thank you. Uh, we also focused on field of transportation, healthcare, and variety of other field, heart simulator. This heart simulator video illustrate how computing power lead to innovation in Healthcare. Prior to surgery, this heart simulator is able to precisely simulate the movement of the heart, and it's effective in deciding where to position a pacemaker and make 
accurate incision in advance. Uh, Professor Sugiura, uh, the University of Tokyo, will be making more detailed presentation, presentation later. The Fujitsu Group has a rich technology portfolio of advanced technology we developed over the years. We are undertaking challenges in new field, including quantum computers, artificial photosynthesis, biosensors beyond 10 nanometers, and so on. For example, in quantum computer, we must bear in mind several wide range consideration from fundamental research to application domains, such as device development, including manufacturing equipment, computer architecture, and range of application. Another important role for us is to continue to conduct fundamental research to drive future breakthrough technologies. We are undertaking 107 global joint R&D project in 16 countries worldwide. We are eager to collaborate with you to resolve technological issues in ICT phase today. Fujitsu Laboratory's activity, Fujitsu Laboratory activity participate, participate in the Fujitsu Group's worldwide event and exhibition to showcase our advanced technologies. In the US, we annually hold two events, a technology forum and symposium as a venue from, for co-creation opportunities. As shown here, we can see how the themes for this forum have evolved over the years. Again, our focus this year is on driving human-centric innovation. The technology I highlighted today represents just the tip of the iceberg of our leading edge technologies. We have massive and diverse portfolio of advanced technologies, which lie beneath the surface of what is visible. As a Fujitsu group, by leveraging our Silicon Valley-based open innovation, we seek to co-create new business with you in here, North America. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.